What's up, you guys? Your boy Big Al again. Happy holidays. Hope you guys had a good turkey day. I'm right here with your man Reyes again, taking care of these clients. We got five vehicles today. Check them out. We got the G-Wagon. We got the Benz over there. Look at that beauty. And we got three more vehicles for this client today. We got Lulu back, actually. Let's, let's check them out. Lulu's actually back on the job site. She's happy to be working. He's angry, he says. He doesn't want to be working. He said he was enjoying his vacation too much. But it doesn't matter. That's why you got Billy the Kid trained over here. You ready to take Lulu's spot? Yeah. You don't, you don't think there would be any bad blood if you take over Lulu's position? No. no? Or you don't care? I don't care. Oh, man. <laughs> you, guys, you see how it is over here? It's, it's, I don't know. It's, you know, it's survival of the fittest. Who wants to be the, the top dog over here? You know what I mean? Talk to this, me. This is a nice client. Yeah, let's check it out. Look at this. How do you get clients like this, man? Is it random or do you have a strategy? Yeah, there's a strategy, but for that strategy, I'm gonna keep it to those people who actually are part of the, the course that I provide or the mentorship, you know, the one-on-one, the ride-alongs. I can teach you guys how to get clients like this. Look at this, so we were out here actually two days ago. We did his Rolls Royce. Today we're doing five more cars. We did actually his Rolls Royce, one of his classics, now we're doing five more today. So seven cars in one week, averaging, about 120 per vehicle for a standard wash at this client. So today it's gonna be about 125. After everything said and done, probably like 700 for here. And it's gonna take us about three hours between the three of us. So we got the new setup. Remember I told you about that tank raise. Don't worry you guys, we're safe now. We're safe. So after that video, our last video, we actually got it strapped down. So you guys don't gotta have to worry about it flying on us anymore. Look at that, nice. Secure. She's not going anywhere, Reyes. Try to move it, Reyes. Come on. No, I believe you. Are you sure? Yep. Well, you shouldn't believe me because actually it is going to go somewhere. Nah, I'm kidding, Reyes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're good, Reyes. But yeah, the van, we're loving it so far. You know, it just, it's huge difference. I don't know, it just feels more professional too, just to have a nicer van. It was just the attachment to the other one, you know what I mean? All of us. Lulu said he doesn't like this van, he said. He doesn't like it, but it's just a lot nicer. Look at him. He's even working. Look at him. He's distressed because of the van. You know what I mean? So, talking about the van. Tell me. A couple of videos ago, you said the van was done. Is yeah. it? Did you take it yeah. to a mechanic? No, so we didn't. I'm going to just find a junkyard. I just have it parked. I've been taking my time on it, actually. But yeah, look at these. So we're going to do those Benzes, that Audi. Two classics, I think, today. I'm not sure. I think that one was, look at that beauty. You see that Honda? It's the yep. nicest one, how it is. Yep, yep, yep. Look at this beauty. You got the bench. Look at it. For Giados, look at these wheels. This is the S63 AMG. Has a nice wrap on it, carbon wing. Look at that. What do you think, Reyes? It's nice. You like cars? I love cars. Look, this one, it's one of his future projects he has going on. Top secret right now, Reyes. We can't talk much about it. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. Look at that view, too. Got a whole view of the cul-de-sac over there. Man. One day, Big Al, one day? One day, you think so? Nah, you, you're closer. Nah, you, you are, said man. You have 669 subscribers on YouTube. Oh, yeah, huh? I'm only at 169 still. See what I mean? It's just, like I said, it's always just moving. I got Billy the Kid setting up the ladder to go clean up the wagon. Lulu right here working on the wheels. You know what I mean? Beauty. You like cars, Reyes? Nah. Never really big into cars. What do you like? I'm that thing. Nothing. For cars? No, what do you like? Oh, in general? Yeah. Mm. I don't got time for much, man. <laughs> Just work and family, that's all I do. That's good, you're a family man, huh? Oh yeah, I got you. That's man. good, Reyes. That's good. How much kids you got, Reyes? How I many got kids? two. Two kids? Yeah. I beat you already? You beat me already, man, with the new addition. Lulu, three kids. He's young. He's a bull, you know, he just... How many kids you got, Big Al? Me, just one. Mm. How about Billy the kid? Nah, he's still a kid. He doesn't have kids yet, come yeah. on. How old is he, like 15, 14? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get me in trouble, Reyes. There's labor laws here, come on. 
Nah. How old are you, Billy? 24. 24. 24, oh, dang. When well, are you going to have your first kid, Billy? Not right now? No, no time soon. No, no time soon. Uh, not anytime soon. They actually asked me on, on the comments, they're like, why do you guys call him Billy the Kid? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, why do you call him Billy the Kid? I don't even know. He just no. got that name. That's but, it? Yeah, no idea why, honestly. That's why it's in, in his birth, birth certificate? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's his name. <laughs> I actually don't even know him by any other name. That's what we just started calling him. When, mm. he, when he sent in his job application, I looked over Billy the Kid. And I think that's why I hired him. I just liked his name. I like the cut of his jib. Mm. What's up, big guy? What's that? Brand new towels. Look at that. You always got to keep these in stock. Brand new. We got a few the other day. We picked them up yesterday. It, it just looks professional. They're soft. Feel this radius. Come on. Look at that. Damn, yeah, bro. Is that's a towel? Like yeah, come on. It's like, it's like a... Like a shower towel almost, uh, nice, comfy. Clients love it. You come in, you have new towels, you look presentable. They just love seeing that, especially when you're working on high-end vehicles like this, Reyes. Come on. This is what they love to see. Look at that. What kind of towels are these? It's a secret. Oh, yeah? I can't, I can't tell you, Reyes. So we're going to start a product line. Starting early. <laughs> now it's Remy over there, huh? <laughs> so starting early. Next year, we're starting a product line. Pretty much, we've been testing products, sourcing them, and now we're getting to the point where we're actually gonna start you know, our own line. Not sure on the name yet, but um, so stay tuned on that one. Like I said, we're testing products, what works for us, only the best, only what we use on our, on our clients' vehicles. That's what we're gonna sell. Even towels, all that. We're working with a lot of manufacturers, wholesalers, everything, and we're just looking for the best of the best. So actually any manufacturers, wholesalers, any distributors out there for product lines, any of that, comment down below, hit us up. Let me know anything you might have for us. But yeah, let's check it out. Look at this. Nice and washed. This is gonna get it dried up. Beautiful. The wheels are dirty. These cars were actually pretty dirty. We try to come every two weeks, but he's, he's busy sometimes. So I think it's been about, about three weeks, three and a half weeks since we did these. All right, Reyes, like I said, so we have five cars. It's 12.30 right now. We got to finish by three. So here's a quick montage of us working. So I got the vacuum going. These are all just standard services, standard washers. So no details on the inside. Standard exterior wash, blow dry, detail spray, inside wipe down, vacuum, you know what I mean? So I think we got it by 3 p.m. Lulu doubted us, but you know what? He's been out of the game for about two weeks, so he's not strong like that anymore, you know? But me and Billy, we've been at it nonstop every day. Client after client, back to back. So you know what? To us, it's just another day. Lulu still needs to find that rhythm again. And that's what happens when you take time you know, you gotta get back into that rhythm of kicking ass, but give him like a week and he'll be back on it, you know what I mean, man? And the thing is, so we, we come out, we do his cars about, like I said, every two weeks. So like, look at this. This standard, it's, it's not even dirty. It's a quick vacuum. Usually the exteriors get dirty. You know, he has fast cars. He likes driving them, you know what I mean? All right, so quick update. They gotta have always a clean job site. So you move the extension cords out the way. You don't want anyone to fall on them. You know, the car OSHA. But so this one's done, that was exterior only. 12.30 was the time we had last time, right? Yeah. 12.50. We're doing actually just the wheels? Yeah. Well, actually we're doing just the wheels. So this in five minutes will be done. This one still needs a body and just interior wipe down. So two vehicles, less than, less than an hour. We got here around 12, set up and all that. So we still have three more. And it's gonna be 1 p.m. right now. So we have two hours, three vehicles. What do you think, Reyes? You still doubting us? I never doubted you. I know you guys got it. What about Lulu? He doubted us, huh? Look at him. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I'm gonna do the interior wipe down. Right here, Reyes. So I got a vacuum, so look. You don't want to step on the carpet, so you always sit like this. You know what I mean, Reyes? Why don't you want to step on the carpet? Well, because you're, the bottom of your feet, you're gonna bring all this dust, dirt, all that into the vehicle, you know, and you don't want that because you just vacuumed. Hey, let me ask you and, something. Yeah. Seems like you got your structure down with the team and yourself. Yes, sir. How do you feel about those detailers? 
who vacuum two or three times. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm. Like this is what they do. They vacuum, then wipe down, then vacuum, then detail the car and do a final vacuum. You ever seen that before? Well, we do it too for, for the details. Oh, for full details? For full details, yeah. This is just, the you know, we vacuumed already the, the little cup holders and everything. So we're just doing wipe down. It's just dust. And then so you're gonna do another vacuum? No, it's not gonna need it. The towel should just pick up all the all that light dirt and debris that it has. So it's it's rare on a standard service that we vacuum twice or multiple times, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, for new detailers out there, what's one tip you could give them to speed up their details? Because you know, when everybody starts, they take a lot of extra time. What would you tell them, Big Al? Well, it's just keep, go, keep at it because they're gonna find a rhythm. When we started too, we were, we were taking longer on these details also, even on standard services. Our washes were taking about two hours just because you're in that mindset that even for a wash, you need to be detailed, you know what I mean? Mm. And that's the thing. You need to be able to differentiate, you know, the services. You can't go out and do a standard, you know, charging 80 bucks, 100 bucks, and then you're gonna go and try to get every little stain out or be super thorough or like, you know, the seats like this, they, they, they could use like a cleaning and conditioning, but we're not gonna do that because it's a standard service. So it's important and important to let your clients know exactly what you're gonna do for that service, you know what I mean? That's the that's really important. A lot of detailers, a lot of especially starting off, they wanna just be super thorough, have just, you know, full details. And that's not how it is, you know? You can't be charging 80 bucks, you know, for a wash and then giving your client a full detail, being there for three hours, you're not gonna make any money or you're not gonna make good money, you know what I mean? So what's up, Reyes? What's up, Big Al? How's it going, man? Third car? Kicking ass, yeah. Finishing up on the third one. Finishing up. It, and it's about to be 2 p.m. One more hour, two more cars. You think you got it? Nah. But he actually said that he's leaving a little later, so it doesn't matter. So I really need to rush. So he actually did right now. We finished the first car. He did the, his errand he had to right now with it. So we're actually good on time. But if we really had to, probably I would say like 3.15 would be the time we would finish. So it wouldn't be that much over. But we're good as far as time. All right, All right Big Al, what's the update, man? So we're waiting on the client now. So he, he went to run his errand. And what time is it? 2.10. 2.10. Like I said, he doesn't even care about the time anymore. So now we're just waiting on him to come back. He has to move the cars. He didn't leave the keys or anything. And we can't wash him right there because he's got the floor pressure wash. So now we're having a little power snack, pistachios. You think these make you strong? I heard hot Cheetos make you strong. Hot Cheetos? Yeah. You have some? For you? Yeah, actually, yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, big hey, has this ever happened where <laughs> you wait on a customer? Well, how long should a detailer wait? Like you show up and you're like waiting to open the door or come outside. They're not responding back to calls or messages. 30 well, minutes? He, well, he told us he's going to come back. Well, I don't know. We're just taking a little break. What about, what about when you show up to a customer? Yeah, like 30 minutes. I think we waited like 45. That's the longest? An hour. An hour? Yeah. On the game? No, they didn't come at that. Yeah. I'd like to know, what's the longest you guys waited for a customer? How long would you wait? 15, 30 minutes, an hour? Let me know. Comment down below. All right, you guys. So we just banged out five vehicles before 3 p.m. So this, you, you know, you guys experience kind of a day in the life, how it goes. It's just hustle and bustle nonstop. Hope you guys also had a good turkey day. We're gonna drop another video next week. Like I said, we're trying to drop one every week. Whatever you guys wanna see, comment down below, give us some ideas, anything, you know? Thanks for watching.